Critically injured trying to save a life, Coin 6 following up on a Gresham firefighter severely burned while battling a duplex fire. And this happened late last month. Joel Jones got a major update on his recovery today. Absolutely heart wrenching. We're told this firefighter was getting ready to enjoy a long weekend with his family when their lives changed overnight. Gresham Fire Chief Scott Lewis says the entire department is leaning on one another as their brother Spencer Tejadas continues to fight for his life. I've had firefighters get hurt. None as bad as Spencer. More than 10 days after firefighter Spencer Tejadas rushed into a burning duplex off Southeast 182nd Avenue to save a child with disabilities believed to be inside. The four year vet, husband, and father of two remains in critical condition. He's still a very sick, very hurt young man and has a long road to recovery ahead of him. Everywhere smoke. And I was feel shocked because no one understands we here inside the house. This woman, who asked to remain anonymous, shares the duplex where the blaze broke out. She says she and her kids were sleeping when her neighbor came home to a fire in her unit, knocking on their door in a panic. After that, really, I don't remember. I just take my kids and run away. As she ran away from the flames, Tejadas and two other firefighters ran inside. We uh, expect our firefighters to go into these situations at any time. And this one turned bad and real bad. Three surgeries later, Chief Scott Lewis says Tejadas is still intubated at Legacy Emanuel Hospital with burns over 45% of his body. The department is now conducting a thorough investigation. And if there's something we're doing wrong, something that we're not training them on, or decisions that should have been made differently, we need to identify those and make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody else. He says the fire was caused by an unattended candle and contact with Tejadas may have been lost after his radio melted during the blaze. The two other firefighters suffered minor injuries and were cleared the following day. We're told the teen believed to be inside was not at the home during the fire and no other injuries were reported. Take care of yourself, brother. We're here for you. We're here for his family. I am very, very sorry about what happened to him. They hope he get a much better and uh, God help him. In a statement, Tejadas' wife Malia wrote that her husband likes a good challenge and has to be the best at everything, so he's going to be the best at getting better, end quote. In the meantime, Chief Lewis says people can send cards or well wishes to Spencer in courtesy of the Gresham Fire Department. We have also linked out a GoFundMe page to support his family during this difficult time. Reporting in Gresham, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News.